Hello everyone. Yes, myself Dr. Sanjay Khatri. We are here to must know MCQs. Today's topic is nephrotic syndrome. Yes, nephrotic syndrome is a topic important for MBBS, for any PG exam, FMG, INI, CT or NEET. There are few set of questions about pathology, about type, about congenital nephrotic syndrome, about treatment. So we will, we will cover all the MCQs in this session. Yes, myself, Dr. Sanjay Khatri, pediatric educator on an academy. Something basic about an academy. Yeah, all India mock test is there on May 1st. Time, 9 a.m. It's my sincere request to all of you. Please attempt this test. Those who are targeting NEET PG 2022, you witness the quality of the questions. Top class questions are there. But once you come on the platform, enter into the test, use code Dr. Sanjay Lai. Okay, so this is about test. Something about an academy plus subscription. You can assess live and recorded both. Learn from India's top educator. Compete in live tests and quizzes to keep your study on the toes. Study on the device of your choice. Yes, you can watch an academy on the device of choice. Its IT team is the best. And simultaneously, if you are on plus platform, you can assess 25,000 questions. You can take an academy as a plus subscription. If you can add prep ladder in this, that will be iconic subscription. Yes, an academy light. When you are reading, 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 you want to assess your preparation. This is the best thing. 450 plus, I am repeating, 450 plus practice test, subject wise, topic wise, full length mock test, all type of questions are there. One word, image based, history based, previous year. So why not? To assess your preparation, do as many as you can practice test. Now, if you are a just beginner, MBBS Prof 1, now integrated questions. How to approach anatomy integrated with surgery or orthopedics? How to read pharmacology? How to read biochemistry integrated with pediatrics and medicine? Yes, clinical, integrated. So here, an academy brings you all the top educator with their experience to make your basic strong MBBS Prof 1. Yes, be ready for this. Now, previous year questions. Yes, 5 to 10 percent questions are always randomly from previous year because they are the selected good questions selected by some respected examiners. So, they can repeat. So, you should have a good hold on previous year question. So, net need uh, an academy is there, need PG previous year question bank. Now, in the plus class, you have daily practice paper. So, after the class, 10, 5, 10 questions is there to practice whether you have learned the topic well or just make a hold over the topic. Special class feature you all know, those are very interactive classes. You can interact in the end, you get the PDF notes also. This is the batch upcoming FMG one month. So you can plan this batch. So make all 19 subjects strong. Now, after basic introduction, come to the good evening, Dr. Mishra, Dr. Dube. I will give you the some good crack question in the nephrotic syndrome. So yes, come to the topic nephrotic syndrome. Myself, Dr. Sanjay Khatri. Start. All are the feature of nephrotic syndrome except I want answer from your side. All are the feature of nephrotic syndrome except. Yes, so nephrotic syndrome by definition. You can define nephrotic syndrome. Massive protein urea. How much massive? More than 1 gram per body surface area meter square per day yes in adult we can say more than 3.5 gram per day because adult body surface area is constant 1.73 but in children you need to describe this definition 
मोर देन वन ग्राम बॉडी सरफेस एरिया मीटर स्क्वायर पर डे यस वन चाइल्ड सस्पिशन ऑफ नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम वी टेल द फैमिली कलेक्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर यूरिन इन दिस कंटेनर एंड यू नीड टू नो वॉट इज द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर यूरिन एल्बुमिन इज देयर प्रोटीन इज देयर इट शुड बी मोर देन वन ग्राम बॉडी सरफेस एरिया मीटर स्क्वायर पर डे हाइपो एल्बुमिनीमिया when protein lost in lost in the urine so albumin will be less so it is less than 3 mg percent when albumin is lost in the urine plasma osmotic pressure decrease so blood from intravascular compartment comes to interstitial spaces it leads to edema when intravascular fluid is decrease angiotensin renin stimulated so they cause sodium and water retention all these leads to edema nephrotic syndrome massive protein urea hypoalbuminemia edema hyperlipidemia hyperlipidemia cholesterol is more how much more more than 200 mg per dl why hyperlipidemia why hyperlipidemia because when protein is lost in the urine so liver get that normal uh, stimulation to synthesize more protein in that sequence liver synthesize more lipoprotein more lipoprotein and lipoprotein are the bigger protein they are not supposed to come in the urine and one enzyme lipoprotein lipase which supposed to cleavage dot lipoprotein is lost in the urine so yes more lipoprotein synthesize more lipid hypercholesteremia hypercoagulability again more fibrinogen secreted more factors secreted synthesize and anti s protein s protein c anti thrombin lost in the urine so these predispose the condition hypercoagulability so just remember these thing nephrotic syndrome massive protein urea you need to know the definition of what is massive protein urea hypoalbuminemia edema hyperlipidemia hypercoagulability these five nephrotic syndrome definition not include hypertension hypertension is not a feature of nephrotic syndrome hematuria is not a feature of nephrotic syndrome and these are the mcqs these all are the mcqs see come to the question all are the feature of nephrotic syndrome except massive protein urea yes hyperlipidemia yes hypercoagulability yes hematuria is not hematuria is not so this type of question look simple but may come in exam and when we moving towards the question you supposed to know the basic then you will be good hold on the treatment of nephrotic syndrome on which most of the question asked in the exam so what are the feature of nephrotic syndrome these five feature you need to remember massive protein urea hypoalbuminemia edema hyperlipidemia hypercoagulability these five feature not hypertension not hematuria am i clear answer this question answer this question tricky one try 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 i want answer from your side nephrotic range protein urea is defined as protein excretion how much yes nishita vandana pradeep dr mishra i want answer from your side d 40 b let's see just clear this concept nephrotic range protein urea if it is more than 1 gram per body surface area meter square per day this is right now what they ask they ask in milligram and they ask in hours so yes we will convert into milligram more than 1000 milligram per body surface area per meter square per 24 hour am i right am i right both sentence are same 1000 milligram 
पर बॉडी सरफेस एरिया मीटर स्क्वायर पर 24 फोर आवर पर 24 फोर आवर बट दे आर आस्किंग आंसर पर आवर पर आवर सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल डिवाइड थाउजेंड बाय ट्वेंटी फोर सो इट कम अप्रोक्सीमेटली फोर्टी सो नेफ्रोटिक रेंज प्रोटीन यूरिया इज डिफाइंड एज मोर देन फोर्टी मिलीग्राम बॉडी सरफेस एरिया मीटर स्क्वायर पर आवर सो रिमेंबर इफ दे आस्क इन आवर दिस इज द आंसर If they ask in a day, this is the answer. These are the basic. If you question is there, total twenty-four hour urine protein is this. So you should know whether it is nephrotic range or it is not in the nephrotic range. So be remember more than one gram body surface area meter square per day, and more than forty milligram body surface area per hour. Hope. i am clear if any confusion put r otherwise i will go see we always give a container to the patient patient can collect all 24 hour urine in the container and they go to the laboratory a laboratory report like this what is the protein total this much gram in 24 hour urine this much gram in 24 hour urine so be remember definition of nephrotic range protein urea per day Per hour, clear. Answer this question. Little bit tough. I will wait. I will wait for thirty second. Let's read and try to answer this. Newborn develop. nephrotic syndrome within first 2 week of life then it has to be congenital nephrotic syndrome which of the following is most likely cause of this patient's nephrotic syndrome yes congenital nephrotic syndrome always manifest between birth to less than 3 month of age patient characterized by anasarca hypo albuminemia albumin is very less edema all over body urine output decrease gradually they not respond to normal drug if they are primary generally require transplant but you need to be clear congenital nephrotic syndrome from birth to 3 month Characterized by anasarca hypoalbuminemia. Now, from birth to three month, primary they are due to mutation, defect in nephrin gene, WT1 genes, LAM2 genes. These are primary. Yes, congenital nephrotic syndrome secondary to few condition such as toxoplasmosis, congenital syphilis. if mother is taking ace inhibitors during pregnancy which decrease urine output in the fetus so which may leads to nephrotic syndrome in a baby if manifest between birth to 3 month what word we use it's congenital nephrotic syndrome it is primary yes we will read primary and secondary to toxoplasmosis syphilis mother is taking ace inhibitors during pregnancy now remember this the commonest commonest type of nephrotic syndrome is finish type it is due to defect in the nephrin gene remember once in all india this question was asked finish type nephrotic syndrome is due to defect in defect in nephrin gene nphs1 nphs2 finish commonest nephrin dennis dress syndrome wimps tumor 1 gene pearson syndrome lamb 2 gene nail patella syndrome lmx1b genes 
yes my friend you need to remember these all are the causes of primary nephrotic syndrome finish type dennis dash syndrome pearson syndrome nail patella syndrome congenital nephrotic syndrome primary congenital nephrotic syndrome secondary to infection toxoplasmosis syphilis mother is taking acne beta now come to the question they are asking it's a congenital nephrotic syndrome most likely cause congenital toxoplasmosis is leads to congenital nephrotic syndrome syphilis leads to congenital nephrotic syndrome maternal exposure to ac inhibitor leads to congenital nephrotic syndrome but the most common is abnormality in nephrin gene which leads to finish type nephrotic syndrome am i clear am i clear mother is taking ac inhibitors captopril enalapril during pregnancy which decrease fetus urine output leads to nephrotic syndrome so remember congenital nephrotic syndrome manifest from birth to within 3 month primary and secondary primary finish type dennis dress type pearson syndrome nail patella syndrome secondary to drugs taken by mother infection syphilis toxoplasmosis congenital nephrotic syndrome two time question asked in last 10 year in all india when we are covering nephrotic syndrome must know mcq how can we leave congenital nephrotic syndrome so hope you have a clear concept of congenital nephrotic syndrome remember finish remember nephrin nphs1 nphs2 clear answer this question i am waiting for your response yes gayatri binay sachin swati dr mishra dr vandana give me the correct answer a 4 year old boy present with puffiness of eyes pedal edema ascites lab study revealed massive protein urea massive protein urea means it's nephrotic range protein urea diagnosis of nephrotic syndrome was made which of the following statement regarding nephrotic syndrome is correct typically poor response to steroid this is absolutely wrong nephrotic syndrome 80 to 90% nephrotic syndrome a very good response to steroid characterized by normal serum lipid level and cholesterol absolutely wrong hyperlipidemia is a feature of nephrotic syndrome usually result in end stage renal disease in 10 year of life absolutely wrong nephrotic syndrome has very good prognosis they rarely leads to chronic renal failure they have very good prognosis they respond to steroid 90% of them respond to steroid very well so b c d is not correct we left with the a and i get maximum correct answer a yes most commonly caused by minimal chase disease in childhood in children 90 to 95% cases of nephrotic syndrome is due to minimal change disease it is having good response to steroid and very good prognosis now history based question simple they make a history but they want to know the common points from you about nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome having normal serum lipid this statement is absolutely wrong they have cholesterol more than 200 so am i clear amit i every month i take plus classes as team provided me this month my plus classes is finished i have start a course on the special class which is free for everyone day after tomorrow i three four special classes to revise pediatrics quickly now answer this question answer this question steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome is defined as
see whenever you diagnose nephrotic syndrome first diagnosis confirmed it's nephrotic syndrome then you need to start steroid steroid is the drug of choice how you diagnose nephrotic syndrome nephrotic range protein urea albumin plus 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 more than 1 gram body surface area meter square cholesterol increase no rbc complement level normal all these things nephrotic syndrome diagnosis is clear then we need to start steroid now once you start steroid once you start steroid suppose our patient is 7 year old 20 kg weight we need to start steroid in the dose of 2 milligram per kg. So, it will be 40. 40 in QID, 4 divided doses, 4 divided doses. So, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10 and you advise patient to check urine daily for albumin by dipstick method. So, generally what happen in 7 to 10 days, in 7 to 10 days, urine nil of albumin. What we call that patient achieve remission patient achieve remission patient achieve remission because urine is nil of albumin now you started steroid daily and continue till 4 week urine is still plus 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 for albumin 4 week urine is still plus 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 for albumin then you think it has to be steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome steroid resistant guidelines are changing that's why mishra answer eight week but now latest guideline says urine is still positive for albumin despite daily steroid for four week it is steroid resistant it is steroid resistant so two definitions are clear what is remission when we start steroid after 7 to 10 days three consecutive sample of urine shows albumin nil it means remission achieved it is remission four week you are giving steroid urine still shows albumin plus 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 it is steroid resistant now look at this definition what is remission urine albumin nil or traces in three consecutive early morning samples it means remission achieve what is steroid resistant absence of remission despite therapy with daily prednisolone for four weeks so these two definitions are clear these two are clear clear remission when on steroid urine become nil of albumin four week still albumin it is resistant hold on listen this carefully otherwise everything is given in the book but it's diff difficult to memorize i will give you the clear concept relapse what is the definition of relapse patients urine is nil of albumin urine is nil of albumin again urine shows albumin plus 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 again urine shows albumin plus 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 means it's relapse it's relapse when we use the word frequent relapse frequent relapse two or more relapse in six months or three relapse in any 12 months so definition of remission is clear resistance is clear relapse is clear 
frequent relapse is clear so what is the definition of steroid dependence you need to understand what is steroid dependence what is steroid dependence you need to understand this thing what is steroid dependence so now see see this flow diagram see this flow diagram first first episode of nephrotic syndrome first episode first episode of nephrotic syndrome we start steroid 2 mg per kg for 6 week for 6 week suppose a patient develop nephrotic syndrome you start steroid at 1st january you continue till 14 february 6 week followed by 1.5 mg on alternate day for 6 week alternate day for 6 week alternate day for 6 week just a minute So, if response come, it means patient achieve remission, 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 patient achieve remission. So, if no response for 4 weeks, it is steroid resistance, it is steroid resistant. Now, if patient receive first episode, we give treatment for 6 week and 6 week, we give treatment for 6 week and six week just a minute but infrequent relapse patient treated very well in six week treatment over patient remain absolutely all right two month three month four month six month nine month then again urine shows albumin so what is this this is relapse this is relapse but it occur after one year two year then we use the word infrequent relapse infrequent relapse but now see the situation try to understand you started treatment for nephrotic syndrome on first gen six week you have given 2 milligram per kg QID. Then 6 week you have given 1.5 milligram per kg alternate day. Alternate day. Clear? So treatment finish January, February, March. 30th March treatment finish. But you advise patient they check urine once or twice in a week so patient check urine in april on 7th april albumin is again plus 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 it means this patient is dependent on steroid dependent on steroid once steroid is there urine is nil of albumin as soon as you stop steroid within 14 days within 14 days urine again positive for albumin urine again positive for albumin so what is steroid dependence within 14 days of its discontinuation you stop steroid and within 14 days of its discontinuation urine is again positive for albumin simple simple hold on what is remission when you start steroid urine is nil of albumin generally 7 to 10 days remission achieved what is resistance you are giving steroid but after 4 weeks urine is still positive for albumin resistance what is relapse patient who previously in remission 3 months 6 months 9 months 1 year again positive for albumin in urine it's relapse what is frequent relapse two relapse in six months or three or more than three in a year but what is dependence once you stop steroid within 14 days 
urine again positive then what you will do what you will do we will not stop the steroid we will not stop the steroid see see here first gen we have given 10 10 10 10 6 week we have given 1.5 milligram per kg means 30 milligram on monday tuesday nothing then wednesday again 30 milligram thursday nothing then friday again 30 milligram saturday nothing alternate day as we stop urine again positive again we do the same thing again we stop urine again positive so what it shows what it shows patient is steroid dependence so hold on what we plan from month of july in month of july now patient is taking 30 milligram alternate day we know from our previous experience once we stop the steroid urine is again positive for albumin urine is again positive for albumin this time we will not stop the steroid in the steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome steroid to be continue for 9 to 18 months but this high dose no we come down on this dose from august we make it 25 milligram in september we make it 20 milligram alternate day in october we make it 15 milligram alternate day we check albumin in urine regularly once or twice in a week listen carefully when we are giving 20 milligram urine shows albumin nil but once we come below 20 milligram in a 20 kg baby 20 milligram means 1 milligram per kg but as soon as we come below 20 urine again positive for albumin so this child require 20 milligram steroid means 1 milligram per kg for 9 to 18 months we can't give this much high dose of steroid so we need to shift on alternate drugs what are alternate drugs i will let you know and these are the newer guidelines but if you come down on steroid in november you reach to 10 milligram in december you reach to 5 milligram that is the minimum dose of steroid so you continue it for 9 to 18 months see here see here frequent relapse or steroid dependence we need to assess the threshold of the steroid if we need steroid more than 0.5 milligram per kg it's better to shift to alternate drug but if minimum dose is reached continue it for 9 to 18 months continue it for 9 to 18 months so it's very simple within 10 days you're able to know yes remission is achieved but it's a first episode continue treatment for 6 plus 6 12 weeks but 4 week you come to know it's resistant shift to other drugs but as soon as you withdraw the steroid and urine again positive again you withdraw again positive means it's steroid dependent this child you need steroid for longer duration now we need to decide whether we can come down on steroid to the minimum dose yes we can then continue it for 9 to 18 months no we are not able to come to the minimum dose then shift to the other drugs shift to the other drugs which other drugs yes this is the new guideline so can you answer this question can you answer this question
yes just one minute i will explain you just one minute now nine year old boy is steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome for last five year now developed cushionoid feature and hypertension cataract means patient is on steroid patient is on steroid but develop steroid toxicity so we can't use a steroid it's dependent but steroid toxicity is there then we need to shift to alternate drug what alternate drug we need to shift to cyclophosphamide cyclophosphamide is there a guideline yes this is the newer guideline see see this slide carefully frequent relapsing or steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome each and every word is self explanatory so we come to the steroid on alternate day and we need to give 9 to 18 month but look 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 if significant steroid toxicity develop this is the question when you are giving steroid for longer duration is develop no it's not develop and parents don't want to give steroid shift to levamisole shift to levamisole listen carefully patient is on steroid and steroid toxicity develop yes like our question steroid toxicity develop then your drug of choice will be cyclophosphamide cyclophosphamide mmf can be used in both category it's not specific so take my word you need to give steroid for longer duration 9 to 18 month but if you want to shift to steroid to other drug there are two option either levamisole or cyclophosphamide if steroid toxicity not develop you can happily give levamisole if steroid toxicity develop then you need to give cyclophosphamide am i clear and this is the newer guideline 2022 yes what you will choose in nephrotic syndrome dependent steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome you need to see in question whether toxicity develop toxicity develop shift to cyclophosphamide same question same question patient is on steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome for 2 year 3 year no toxicity is there but what is the alternate choice then no toxicity you give levamisole am i clear am i clear am i clear answer this question answer this question two year old boy present with two week history of gradually increasing periorbital edema i want answer from your side yes swati nishitika amitras mishra what is the answer read each and every statement carefully then make your answer mishra is putting b let's see one very good point in this question i will explain you serum albumin less than 1.5 it is 100% true serum complement this is normal level this is also true these two are true serum cholesterol 130 is wrong what is the value of serum cholesterol in nephrotic syndrome more than 200 mg per dl so nephrotic syndrome cholesterol is always high what is d choice what is d choice now see see 
to diagnose nephrotic syndrome we need 24 hour urine any spot test by which we can diagnose nephrotic syndrome yes urinary protein to urinary creatinine ratio normally it is 0.2 but if urinary protein to urinary creatinine ratio more than 2 it is diagnostic of nephrotic syndrome got my point got my point urinary protein to urinary creatinine ratio more than 2 is diagnostic of nephrotic syndrome in our question it is given 4 it's nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome clear 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 so serum albumin 1.5 nephrotic cholesterol it is wrong cholesterol is wrong cholesterol is wrong complement normal it is correct and urinary protein ratio more than 4 it is correct of nephrotic syndrome so am i clear am i clear in this clear vaccination in nephrotic syndrome vaccination in nephrotic syndrome yes two year back question in all india nephrotic syndrome patient is on steroid means they are immunocompromised basic rule killed or we can say inactive vaccine can be given without any question dpt hepatitis given without any question killed vaccine given but what about live vaccine a big no a patient is on a steroid nephrotic syndrome patient on a steroid 2 milligram per kg you can't give live vaccine can't give live vaccine because patient is in immunocompromised state immunocompromised state so when when you give when you can give when either when you stop steroid or when you shift to alternate day of steroid then you can give but best if you have given steroid for more than 2 week 2 milligram per kg it's better to stop steroid then only wait for a 1 or 2 week then you give vaccine to the patient but if somebody asks what is the ideal time killed give live not give patient on steroid but when either you stop or when you shift to alternate day then you can give live vaccines what are the vaccine recommended for nephrotic syndrome patient can you tell me pneumococcal hepatitis b vaccine varicella and influenza these four vaccine we always check when patient is nephrotic syndrome whether he received or not received pneumococcal hepatitis b varicella and influenza these four vaccine is always recommended in nephrotic syndrome patient because the most common complication of most common complication of nephrotic syndrome is pneumococcal peritonitis pneumococcal peritonitis so once a patient comes to you with a diagnosis of nephrotic syndrome sit with the family check the vaccination card pneumococcal vaccine give pneumococcal vaccine particularly if it's a relapse why pneumococcal peritonitis is the most common complication patient is immunocompromised patient on steroid ascites act as a culture media so yes you check in your list 
pneumococcal hepatitis varicella and influenza vaccine for nephrotic syndrome patient you can give killed vaccine anytime but when patient is on steroid don't give live vaccine you can give live vaccine once steroid is stopped or when you shift to the alternate drug so these all about nephrotic syndrome vaccination treatment dependent resistant remission treatment then if toxicity develop give cyclophosphamide no toxicity develop give levamisole five points of nephrotic syndrome cholesterol is always high in nephrotic syndrome hyperlipidemia these all are the mcq yes so we cover must know mcq from nephrotic syndrome yesterday we cover must know mcq from pediatric hiv tomorrow i will cover heart sound all are the cause of splitting except which of the following causes first heart sound splitting there are so many clinical question on heart sound which clinch the diagnosis yes heart sound most common known mcq about heart sound yes i cover the series of topics must know mcq in jaundice 40 minutes class you cover all the good mcqs of jaundice pediatric ecg no need to read whole ecg these are the common ecg of pediatrics vaccines common questions seizures common question pneumatic fever all the questions of rheumatic fever in 45 minutes so must know questions go to the youtube search dr sanjay khatri you will get all the classes must know questions in cardiac murmur these all are previous month this month these three mouth heart sound tomorrow hope you like the session myself dr sanjay khatri keep reading let's crack it thank you bye bye god bless you all if you like share with others yes this is sanjay khatri from an academy platform youtube i am signing off thank you